Hamilton. Messier getting it over to Howard Chuck. Now back to Rochefort to Crossman. Ahead on right wing to Glenn Anderson who fires it in. Patisa back to get it. That's Howard Chuck into Forchuk. But Kasatonov clears it out to Krutop. Number nine. He just tipped at the center. Shot back in by Crossman. And Fatisov is there. To Krutov. Back over for Fatisov. Spins from Howard Chuck. Gets it to Makara. To Lariana. Centered. Big save pure. Early here. On that. Great try by the Soviets. Back is Howard Chuck to Messier. Cutting in. Messier centered. Rochefort scores! Rochefort! Armand Rochefort never scored a bigger goal. What a play as he came in. Watch number five. He'll move in. He'll be the extra man in the zone. They were not ready for him. 43 seconds, the time of the goal. One to nothing, Canada, and that's what Canada was hoping for. A good start. Here's Kamienski. Tied up by Goulet. Held in by Murphy with a shot wide. Over on the other side, Gusarov. But it's held in by Canada. And Bekov, number 27, tries to fire it out of there and does. And Paul Coffey has to go back for Canada. Coffey giving it to Larry Murphy. Murphy playing it off the boards into center ice. Sutter had a break but couldn't control the pass. Stelno feeding Homatop number 15. Homatop moving in. Shoots one up high as it hit a stick. Beckoff in front. Homatop scores on the rebound. Andre Homatop number 15 ties it up. We're going to have to look at this one again to see exactly what happened to Grant Fuhrer on this. The shot deflected up high as he took a second whack and deflected. Now Fuhrer got bumped. So he was slow getting in. He got all turned around worrying about Nemchinov. And the puck just bounced out in front. So Fuhrer wasn't paying attention. He elected to go after the guy who was in front. Got an arm on it, but simply could not keep it out. But the contact in the goal mouth is what paved the way for that goal. Well, Homatop ties it up, and Canada's early lead is down the drain. Here's Perbukin trying to clear it. Doug Gilmore holding it in. Gilmore for Canada. Right in. Gets it in front. Mary Lemieux shooting. Gilmore a whack at it, and play is called. They rule it was hit by a high stick. Well, we get a penalty on that last play, and the goal now scrambled to Doug Gilmore for high sticking. Canada shorthanded, clearing it down the ice. Batisov, number two, is back to get it. Ian Kasatonov, the point man, with Krutov, Makarov, and Larionov up front, and here's Krutov. Around to Makarov. In behind, Krutov trying to center. Krutov, checked by Bork. Krutov trying to get it to Makarov. Makara plays it off the board. Stelarianov back to Kasatonov. Over to Fatisa. In on the other side to Kruta. To Makara. Back to Fatisa. To Kasatonov. To Fatisa. Soviets with the man advantage. Fatisa. Cutting in. Still controlling it. Number two, Fatisa. Side of the net to Kruta. Trying to center, hit the back of the net. And that gives the Team Canada defenseman Bork a chance to get it and clear it out. Canada change on the fly. 50 seconds left in the penalty. Kasatona. Number seven. Head manning it to Makar up and off his stick and cleared away by Rushmore for Canada. And Patisov has to go back. That's prop in for checking. Now Homatov, number 15, who scored the goal, starts out for the Soviets. Homatop couldn't go in because Bekov had been pushed in offside on the play. So he circled back. Here's Homatop feeding one ahead. Intercepted by Hartsburg and cleared down the ice. 15 seconds left in the penalty. Good penalty killing here by Team Canada. Lead pass out to Kamienski, number 13. Kamienski to Bekov, number 27 to Homatop. Gretzky intercepts. Back comes Gretzky. Gilmore back out of the penalty box. Canada carrying in. Rochefort to Gilmore. Tricky scores! Doug Gilmore! And Canada leads 2-1. 
Wash four with a goal and an assist, both times moving in from the point. Well, Canada takes the lead again. Here come the Soviets right back, firing it in. Copy back for Canada, trying to clear it out of there. But Dotop with a drive, Fiora save. Murphy can't clear the rebound. Now gets another chance in Canada with Lemieux to center up. Here's Big Mario trying to go around for Dotop. Fellow shaken, trying to clear it. Goulet on the boards, couldn't hold it in, but drops it back to center where Coffee beats Murphy. Murphy flips it in. Fellow shaken played that carefully. Now Gretzky or Lemieux into port jack. Here's Murphy at the point. Puck knocked down by Murphy, cleared in, it hit Fedotov. Fedotov number 14, firing it out. And Murphy has to go back. Murphy over in his own zone for Coffee. Back to Murphy again. Out for Anderson. They get it to Coffee at center. While Coffee trying to move in. Coffee flipped it in front. Bello Shaken clears it. Into the corner, it's Prop. Prop centered. Lemieux in front to Anderson. Anderson checked by Samyanov. Centered. They'll get a penalty to Samyanov for hooking in Canada without a power play. Messier, Lemieux, and Gretzky up front. Coffee and Bork, the point men. Messier gets the face off to Coffee. To Gretzky. Back to Coffee. Over to the other side. Bork feeding into Gretzky. Gretzky trying to make a play into Messier. Messier fired it in front. Bork had moved in, but missed it. And Makarov breaks out with Krutov. Messier trying to get back and does. And Makarov shot. Blocked by Coffee. Messier came back from nowhere to help out and cover the other man on that go on one break it's shot in now by Canada not only that he caught up with a very fast man in Krutov here's Gretzky center Messier the deflection just wide Batisov tries to get it out Bork held it in into Messier into the corner Canada with Lemieux back to Bork shooting and that's off a stick and high here's Gretzky kicks it into the corner Gretzky still after it, cleared, held in by Coffey. Coffey shot, loose in front, fellow shaken, dove out and grabbed it before Gretzky could get a stick on it. Now Howard, Chuck, Goulet and Anderson up front. Murphy, a point man along with Hartsburg. Canada from the face off, Goulet. Bumped by Stelnov, number four. Howard, Chuck in to help out, center to Murphy. Shoots one, fellow shaken, a glove save. And he held on to it. Two to one, Team Canada leading. Howard Chuck gets the draw to Murphy, a drive, and that went off Howard Chuck into the corner. Now Anderson for Team Canada. Centers it, comes to Murphy. He couldn't hold it in as Beckoff was able to clear it out of there. And back goes Craig Hartsburg, number four. Off the boards to Murphy, back to Hartsburg. Hartsburg into center ice. Anderson couldn't catch up with it. Delno takes a bump. Goulet trying to get it free to Anderson. Moving in to Hartsburg. Hartsburg got it into the corner, but Gusarov comes up with it, trying to clear it. Murphy held it in. Shot right on. Bella Shaken just got a hand up. Now Canada's Howard Chuck off the side of the net with that drive. Soviets, by the way, are back at full strength. Here's Goulet to Anderson. Wayne Anderson out in front, backhander. Bella Shaken, Goulet a shot. And then the net is not loose. And we get a stoppage in play. Well, Mike Keenan warned us before the game that Mario Lemieux could be seeing some action as a right winger. They have hardly anybody that's a regular right winger on the team. No regular right winger, as a matter of fact. So there he is on the right wing with Wayne Gretzky. And prop on the other side. Here are the Soviets in chin-up number 12, upended by Murphy. Cuts in anyway. Ride to center, and Poppy slid across to break it up. Now, the Soviets... With Priyakin is checked on the play and Canada able to clear it up. Here's Gretzky to Coffey. Coffey shoots one. In behind Bello Shaken. Reaches back and grabbed it. They pour it across the red line. And Bello Shaken looks rather shaky here in the opening period. Big get, shot by Coffey. We're going to get some penalties on the last play as well. High sticking to Mario Lemieux and Mchina. Here's Canada's Messier trying to center, knocked down, and the Soviets, Makarov starting back. Makarov, number 24, one of their very best. Taken out of the play by Crossfit and Messier for Canada. Messier had nowhere to go, just flipped it in, Stelno. Leaving it for Lariana. Back to Stelno. 
Over to number three, Gusara. Back to Stelno. To Gusara. Ahead to Makara. Has Larion off with him. But Crossman broke it up. Now center, they try to get it to the late man, Delno, but Delno taken out by Bork. And it's Anderson clearing it. Delno held it in. Shoots, big kick save by Bjorn. Just got his left leg up. Canada starting back. Messier to center. That's as far as he got. And Makara drops it back. And now we're going to get a penalty on the play against Canada and against Messier. Soviets with a four against three power play here. They are 0 for 1 on the man advantage situation tonight. Doug Gilmore, Canada's only forward. Rashford and Crossman on defense. Here's Bekoff getting it. And the Soviets drop it into their own zone. Kasatonov in to get it. Gilmore in to try and tie him up. Couldn't it. Homotov breaks out. Homotov, number 15. Homotov stops at a dime. Centers to Bekoff. Back to Kasatonov. That's a tone off over to Fatisov into the side of the net. And Rashford breaks it up and is able to clear it to the line but held in. Bekov, number 27. Leaving it there for Kasatona. To Fatisov. Return to Kasatona. Fatisov shoots one. That hits someone in front of the net and bounced wide. And then Doug Gilmore comes up with it for Canada. Gilmore, number 28, trying to stick handle in. Kasatonov tied him up. And back comes Bekov. Bekov in for the Soviets, leaving it for Semyonov. They drop it back to Kasatonov. Shoots, hit the post. Big rebound, Kasatonov stopped by Fjord. Canada can't clear it. Now, two of the penalized players back on. Fatisov has shot the quick. And then poked away by Rashford. Fatisov holding it in to Semyonov. Shooting and pure a stick save there. Here's Nimchina. Back to Patisa. A drive. Back to Flex one. Back up. Soviets on a power play. 35 seconds left in Messier's penalty. Back up to Semyana. He scores! No goal! Says the referee. No goal. I think a man in the crease. Oh my goodness. Yellow Shaken must have thought he stood alone. Down at the other end, Fjord made five big saves all in a sequence. The goal was waved off by referee Paul Stewart. Watch the people in front of the net. And finally, it was backhanded past Grant Fjord, and the referee calling it immediately. He's also giving out penalties to Crossman and then Chinop on the play. Here's the play. Watch the traffic. Well, now you see, the rule is if you're pushed into the crease, and I think he was the Soviet player, then, you know, that's rubber the green and the goal would stand. Well, I think he had called the penalty before the puck was in the net, and that, that may be. may be. That may be. Still a power play for the Soviets, four against three. Messier still with 20 seconds left in his penalty. Here's Patisa. In to Krutov. Over to Gusara. Back at the point. Patisa trying to center. This Krutov with it. And Gretzky comes back. Has Bork with it. Gretzky just dumping it in. Batista back to get it. Messier's back on. Each team a man short. Here's Kruta. Leaving it for Makara. To Kruta. Centers it in front. Shot just wide of the net. As the point man had moved up to Sarov, and he was wide open, but missed the net. Each team a man short now as Bork intercepts one. Into Messier. Messier centered to Gretzky. He's upended in the slot. And Gusarov starting back to Makarov. Makarov to Gusarov. Centers, Krutov trying to center it. Both wide, here's Makarov. Tied up by Hartsburg and Gretzky back to get the puck. Gretzky to Gartner, Gartner moving right in. Gartner in front to Gretzky, gets it to Coffey right in. He took, he scores! Paul Coffey! Here comes the pass up. Gretzky wasn't ready for it. Got it and quickly unloaded. 
right out of the stick of coffee. Now Semyonov. Semyonov moving in, shoots one. Good block there at the defense by Hartsburg. Back come Canada, Gartner with Gretzky. To Gretzky. Gretzky is tied up by Batista. Now there's a drive and a save by Bello Shaken on Krop. Semyonov starting back. Leaving it for Sema. Back to Semyonov. Round on the boards to Lomakin. Lomakin into Samak, number 18. Samak out in front, and we're going to get a charging penalty to Mike Gardner. Soviets on a power play. 0 for 2 in this game tonight with the man advantage. Here's Petisov flipping it through. Messier breaks it up, and it's fired out of there by Doug Crossman. Petisov back to get it. Let's Kasatonov play it. Kasatonov with five seconds left in the period to Krutov. Krutov moves in and the first period comes to a conclusion. A good one for Canada. I think without any question their best of this Canada Cup. Here's a key part of this game. Soviets on a power play for another minute and 30 seconds. They have their green unit out there. Larry on up, Makar up, and Krutov up front with Batisov and Kasatonov on defense. Immediately cleared down the ice. Canada with Messier and Gilmore to kill it off. Frostman and Rochefort on defense. Here's Karutov. Rochefort fell. Soviet Makarov trying to drop it back. Intercepted by Gilmore to Messier. Messier to Frostman into center ice to Doug Gilmore. Gilmore moving in. Gilmore trying to get away from Kasatonov. And now Patisov comes up with it. And here come the Soviets. Here's Lariana. Poke checked nicely by Rochefort, cleared by Crossman. Kasatonov back together. Canada changing on the fly. Kasatonov to Krutov. Broken up by Messier and cleared out into the center ice area. Lariana. 40 seconds left. Another good defensive play by Canada. Messier trying to clear it in, but Soviets still with 10 seconds left in Canada's penalty. Bekov moving in. Sutter breaks it up. Hartsburg trying to clear it. Gets it to Brent Sutter. Sutter couldn't chip it out. Now held in by Homatop. Homatop centers in front. A shot. Fewer a big save on Kamiansky who was in alone. And now the penalized player Gartner back on. What a save by Fewer. Puck cleared down by the Soviets. Hartsburg back to get it against Homatop. Hartsburg holding him off, and Goulet tries to clear it. But Dotop at the point. His shot blocked. Back off a drive. And that's wide, and Gretzky has it for Canada. To Greg Hartsburg. Hartsburg moving in, leaves it for Gretzky. Gretzky back in front. Hartsburg just missed with the tip in. Now Sutter in the corner. And the Soviets try and fire it out of there. Hit a skate, and Gusarov. Then does get it into center ice. Lomakin moving in. Shot. Pure the save. Big rebound, but they fan it out. And here's Gartner with Goulet and Gretzky. Gartner with a big booming shot wide of the net. And Samak number 18. Headmans it into center ice. Here is Lomakin. Lomakin shoots. Pure glove save. And he held on to it. All right for a face-off deep in Team Canada's end. And Coffey comes up with it. Round on the boards. Hartsburg for Team Canada. The Brian Prop number 26. Prop leaving it for Coffey. Up the middle to Gartner, but Petisov tied him up well, and Petisov made a neat play and now feeds it to Lomakin. Lomakin leaving it for Semyonov. He fell down. Coffey to Gartner, who's in the clear, off the shoulder of Bello Shaken. Gartner on a breakaway. And the Soviets dodge a bullet there. Back comes Samak. He moves in to Lomakin. Number 23, Lomakin to Semyonov. Passed it off to Fatisov, who couldn't get the shot away. Now Lomakin. Murphy breaks that up. And here's Bork passing it to Prop. Prop gets it out of the zone. Semyonov, number 30, back to Batisov, who has to chase back for it. Canada leading 3-1. We're early in the second period. Long pass to Semyonov. 
Hits the linesman. Semyonov able to get it. Semyonov moving in. Centered. And it's knocked away by Fury. Just batted that one away. Now the Soviets with Kovalev number eight. Out of behind the net. Bork is there for Canada. Bouncing it off the board. Still no. Pinching in. Trying to hold it. Play is called. And a holding penalty. Coming up against Team Canada and against Doug Crossman from the Philadelphia Flyers. Well, Canada getting his chances. This is Gartner all along firing it. It may have caught the shoulder of Yellow Shake and he was, he's going on the top shelf. Here are the Soviets with the man advantage. The car off back of the net. Trying to drop it back. Kasatonov returns to Makarov. Now the Patisa. He flips it into Krutov, but a good play by Rochefort. And Rochefort now beats Gilmore. Trying to quick pass to Messier. That's broken up. Doug Gilmore, number 28, back to Rochefort. He picks an opening and fires it down the ice. Gasatona. Into center ice to Larionov, leaving it for Gasatona. Flipped around. Your missed it back of the Dennis that skipped on him. Now Batisov shoots, they score! Batisov from the point, and the Soviets click on the power play. Deflected shot, I don't know who was out in the high slot, whether it was a Team Canada defenseman or a Soviet player. Here comes the shot, that's Kazatonov, no, that's Larionov, who's in front of the net. Here comes the shot, and that went off, I think, a Team Canada defenseman in front. Batisov with that low shot, which is a very deflectable kind of a shot. And Batisov is likely to get credit for it. Batisov does get it. 29-year-old veteran. And heralded as their best defenseman and one of the best in the world. Soviet score on the power play and have cut Canada's lead to 3-2. to two. Batisov from Krutov and Kasatonov. 12-11 the time. Here are the Canadians with Bork firing it in. In is Lemieux, an open net. Bello Shaken got back in there and robbed Lemieux. Bello Shaken went a-wandering and almost got burned. I think maybe Mario Lemieux will be seeing this one in his dreams. Bello Shaken coming up from behind the net. He's gone back there to clear the puck and it bounced off. The boys came right to Lemieux at a yawning net to shoot at. Yellow Shaken quickly back in. One gives uh, Lemieux credit. He was trying to bury that shot. He was really blasting it. Here's Stelno from the faceoff. Back of his own goal. Gretzky trying to steal it, but Dusarov gets it into center ice. Here's Bekoff moving in, but that play offside. Homatov, number 15, in ahead of the play offside at the Team Canada Blue Line. They tell you, tell me they nicknamed him the Rat of the Soviet Union. <laughs> It reminds people a little bit of uh, Lintzeman. Uh, he's a very small but shifty kind of a forward, very much like Bekov for the Soviet team, but he's been in the Soviet Major League now for seven years, played in the 81 and 84 Canada Cup, so this is his third time round here. Here's Canada with a one-goal lead now. Carrying his Hartsburg into Gilmore, tipped it in, but broken up and shot back out by Perbukin. Cleared back in by Canada. And now Fedotov back to get it to Semyonov, number 30. Semyonov rips a long one. And it's handled by Fuhr. Now Hartsburg controlling for Canada. Less than seven minutes to play in the second period. Canada can't get it out. Now they will as Gartner intersects. Here he comes with Sutter. Gartner rips a drive. Caught by Bella Shaken. And he was halfway to the blue line by the time they whistled that one down. And Sutter had him lined up, too, with that puck in his hands. Canada three, the Soviets two, 6.36 left in the second period. And Chinov against Messier. Messier getting the draw. They drop it back, but Murphy couldn't hold it in. And Bork has to hustle back. Over to Murphy. Out on... The left wing side to Messier. He drops it back to Murphy again. Murphy loses to Nemchinov, but recovered and is able to clear it. And Fatisov has to go back for the Soviets. His clearing pass, knocked down by Priyakin, but cleared away by Murphy again to Howard Chuck to Anderson. Anderson 
Pulled down by Nimchinov, and there'll be a penalty there. Here's Borg for Canada. Into the corner on the delayed penalty. Giving it to Howard Chuck. Centered and tipped away by the Soviets. That stops play. And Nimchinov of the Soviets, number 12, will get a holding penalty right here. 14.04 the period. Here it comes as trying to move in was Anderson and he just wrestled to the ice. And Chinov, by the way, gets his third penalty of this game. How about this power play? But Makarov breaks away, Coffey chasing him. Here's Makarov and Coffey headed him off. Speed against speed. Here's Makarov to Kruta. He moves and scores! Short-handed goal! And that's the Soviets' third in three games against Canada. And it ties it at 3-3. Well, they got the two of them inside the zone controlling the puck, both Makarov and Karuto. Now the defenseman will start to chase a little bit. Great effort by Makarov right here. Goes right by one defenseman. Now watch the defense start to chase a little bit on Makarov, who's they're cheating just a little bit, and he got that angle. He spread him out a bit. And what a wrist shot that was. Right under the glove of Grant Fuhr. Grutov getting the goal, his seventh of this tournament. A shorthanded goal. And that's their third shorthanded goal in three games against Canada. Canada's still on a power play, but now it's all even at three apiece. Here's Hartsburg off the boards to Anderson. Into center ice to Murphy. Murphy winding it around on the board. Goulet into the corner. Now Gwen Anderson. Anderson gets tied up. Makarov and Anderson fight for it. Hartsburg held it in. To Goulet. Goulet trying to center. Here's Gusarov trying to get it up. Murphy held it in. Into the corner. For Dale Howard Chuck. Fired it in front, knocked away by Batisov. And now Makarov trying to work it out of there. Held in by Goulet. His shot blocked. Goulet has to hustle back as Makarov is after the loose puck. And Hartsburg takes over. Hartsburg tied up Kutop on the play. Now Makarov will carry in. And Howard Chuck has it for Canada. 38 seconds left in the penalty. Here is Dale Howard Chuck giving it to Larry Murphy. Cross rink to Hartsburg. Hartsburg trying to center to Gretzky. Into Lemieux, they center. Goulet a whack at it. Rolls through the crease and Beckoff has it. He's shut. Now Gretzky at the side of the net. In front, Lemieux panned on it. Here's Mario Lemieux. Into the corner for Messier. But Tisan trying to clear it. Bork held it in. Beckoff blocks it, and here's a two-on-one Soviet break. Now three-on-one. Hovatov in front to Beckoff. Tip wide. And again, the Soviets, just at the tag end of that penalty, had a dangerous chance. Now Lemieux trying to steal it. He can't. Goulet overstates the puck, and back comes Beckoff. Beckoff with Hovatov now leaving it there. And Bork cleared it, and here's Gretzky with Lemieux. Two-on-one break. Gretzky to Lemieux, scores! I don't know what Gil O'Shaken thought, but he's got the two greatest forwards in the game today coming at him. What are you going to do? How much you can do. Watch it go by. Gretzky going to his forehand, feeding it over. Lemieux. Mario Lemieux's eighth goal of this tournament. He leads all snipers. And Canada has the lead again at four to three. Gretzky now with three points on the night. 16-32, the time of the goal. Canada right back. Sutter to Gilmore, shoots and Bellow taken. A stick save. Gartner with the puck. Sutter tried to center. 
Now Semyonov able to clear it into center ice. Rospin firing it back in, and it's offside at the Soviet blue line. 4-3, Canada leading. Rashford over to Doug Rospin, and he flips it ahead for Gartner. Bello shaken out of the net to shoot it up on the boards. Now Sutter with help from Gilmore, but the Soviet Slomakin breaks out of there. Lomakin leaving it. Rochefort there to clear it. Failed to get it out. Now does to Gilmore with Sutter. Two on two break. Gilmore to Sutter. Shoots one. Bellow shaking the save. Sutter into the corner. And back up the Soviets the other way. Same act number 18. And Lomakin shot blocked by Crossman. Center misses Samak, who was alone in the slot. And the Soviets are back and get it. Delno clearing it in. The Crossman there. And he puts it out and puts it over the glass. 2.14 left in the second period. And Team Canada leading it 4-2. to two, A very important goal from Lemieux and Gretzky. Now there is... Sutter, I think, moving right in up against the boards, and this was a lingering kind of an affair. The play went all the way up the ice. They were way behind Semyonov and Sutter. And finally, Lundqvist, the or Lundstrom, rather, the linesman moved in and broke it all up. Meanwhile, the play had been down on the Team Canada and a second or two. Well, the way, the way these teams can skate, it was down there for quite a while. Here's Bork flipping it up. Usarov, number three, back to get it. Fires it around on the boards, held in by Murphy for Canada. Flipping it in front. Our Chuck couldn't knock it down. Now Gusara trying to work it out of there. Bork came up to try and hold it in, couldn't, and Anderson has to go back for Canada. Got it out of the zone, and the Soviets with Priyakin take over. Priyakin banged into the boards by Messier. There's a puck flipped in by the Soviets and Larry Murphy from a Washington Capitals back to get it. Over to Anderson, cross ice to Messier. Fired in, here's Anderson. In with Batisa, knocks Batisa down. Batisa back up again to clear it to Makarov and the Soviets break up. Makarov trying to get away from Gretzky and Gretzky tied him up and puts it back in. Soviets trying to shoot it out of there. Held in by Gula. Demario Lemieux misses him and Gusarov beats Makarov to Larionov. We're in the final minute of the second period. Here's Krutov moving in, dropped it, and Gretzky back checking, breaks it up, and here he comes the other way. Gretzky stick handling in, Makarov intercepts. And the Soviets come right back. Krutov trying to go around Hartsburg. Poppy is there to cover up and try and flip it up. Soviets. Pulled it in, Makarov, back to Larianov, into Kasatonov. Kasatonov back of the net, Coffey ties him up, and Coffey comes up with the puck and feeds Gretzky to Lemieux. Now to Goulet, three on two break for Canada, leaving for Gretzky. Into Lemieux, or into Gretzky, to Goulet, backhander, turned aside by Bello Shaken. And Batisa has it with 12 seconds left. Held in by Gretzky to Lemieux. He dropped it back. Goulet was going for the bench. Now Gretzky cuts in. Leaves it. Gilmore shot off a stick over the glass. One second left. And Gretzky just about gave Gilmore a great scoring chance. He did, but somebody got a stick in the way. What a great shift that line had. And what a great shift that number 99 had. This is a terrific play, of course, as Gretzky stole the puck right at the line. Just lifted a stick, pulled it away, now chips it free, and he's alone. A bouncing puck to deal with, which allowed Fatisov to get set, so he set up Gilmore, who had his shot deflect over top of the net. But Gretzky and Lemieux and company, that last shift they had, what a way to finish a period. Just one second left. Gretzky with three assists tonight. And if some people have been able to finish off some other plays, he might have five. Just time for the drop of the puck here between Lemieux and Becker. One second left in the second period. Look at him line up in front there. It's like a conga line. They pulled the goaltender, too. Yeah, Canada with six men up there with just the one second left. 
You like to hope it'll be almost two seconds. It shows one on the clock, but it can be, you know, one and four fifths. Lemieux tried to scoop it. It was blocked by Beckoff, and the second period comes to an end. Canada out shooting the Soviets in that period, 12 to 9. In the game, 29 shots for Canada, 22 for the Soviets, and a one goal lead for Canada with 20 minutes left. Here we go at the third period. Batisov to Makarov. He fires it. Comes to Krutov. Number nine. He moves in. Centers. Makarov was there, but Rossport slid out and made a good play. And then Crossman chips it into center ice to Howard Chuck to Messier. He flies in on left wing. Messier for Canada. Leaving it for Anderson. Shoots. Now he'll shake it a save. And Batisov. Knocked the puck down with a hand pass where they really closed his hand on it and they whistled the play down. They uh, gloved it and held it and turned and went behind the net. And that's, see, again, look at the wrap that Messier takes behind the net and still he carried on into the corner. Will make the play to his teammate Anderson. Anderson got the room. A little pick was run in there, a quick shot. Petisov chases back to get it for the Soviets. That's Anderson in four checking. Howard Chuck knocks it back in for Canada. Kasatonov takes Howard Chuck out, but Tisov cleared it. Knocked down by Messier, but he couldn't control it. Now Anderson holding it in. Shot wide, Howard Chuck into the corner. Kasatonov, big strong Soviet defenseman, and the Soviets break out of there. Here's Karutov. Crossman skating him off. Knocked back of the goal, and Rochefort is there for Canada. Rochefort got it to the line, but not out. Now they do clear it out, and here's Gusarov, waving it for Petisov to Karutov. Karutov stick handling beautifully. Still has it. In front. Oh, and Pekov's shot was blocked, and here's Kretzky. Quickly to Prop. Prop tried to get it back, but Gusarov knocked it down. Now a lead pass to Gretzky. Stelnov is there for the Soviets. To Kaminsky. Number 13, Kaminsky. Into center ice to Homotov. Homotov moving in. To Bekov, back and he scores! Bekov ties this game at 4-4. Great backhand shot. Always the most difficult shot for a goaltender to handle because of the angle that comes off the stick. Here comes the shot, and nothing Fjord could really do. Nice play in front, and here's the backhand. And he picked the short side on it. Terrific backhand shot. Pretty good effort there as the puck is cleared to the wing. And we've got a tie hockey game. Omatop will get an assist. Now Canada with Mario Lemieux in control. He's up there with Gilmore and Gartner. They dump it in. The no top there to clear it back up. And Canada has to chase back. Here's Raymond Bork. Bork passing to Lemieux. He gets tied up. Murphy trailing on the play, moving it to Mario Lemieux. Lemieux cutting in. Got it in front. Now Gilmore into the corner. Number 28, Gilmore for Canada. Back of the net to Lemieux. Shoots! Hello taking the save. Gartner couldn't get the rebound shot away. And the Soviets clear it with Bork back to get it to Lemieux. Over to Gilmore. Semyonov intercepts that. Now cleared back in and Gilmore was trapped in their offside in the play. Soviet Union out shooting Canada 4-1 at this stage of the third period. Another factor in this game run. Soviets have used four lines. Canada with just ten forwards, really using just three lines with an extra player. And that could be a factor as this third period rolls along. Puck cleared to center by the Soviets. Coffee has it there. Canada four, the Soviets four. Flipped into center ice and dumped in by Brian Prop. Now Perbukin trying to clear it. Coffee held it in. Centers to Gartner. Gartner's shot. That went high and wide. Now centered. Prop a whack at it. Cleared by the Soviets. Here is Crossman. Back of the net. 
Drop back. Here's Gardner Payne on it, and Samak has a break. Coffee trying to get back. Samak shoots, shot it wide on the short side. Oh, a dangerous break there. Soviets continue to put pressure on. Now Samak gives it to Lomakis. Lomakis with the puck, getting it in front to Semyonov. Shoots pure the save. They score, but a high stick, no goal. Here's the line of Gretzky, Lemieux, and prop for Canada. Gretzky to Lemieux. Back to Crossman at the point. Behind the net to Gretzky. Gretzky centered. Prop. Shoot shot wide. Penalty coming up. To Busara for the Soviets. And Canada will get a power play right here. So Busara for hooking at 9.52. Canada 0-2. 0-2 for 2 in the power play department in this game. They desperately need one now. And they gave up a shorthanded goal to the Soviets earlier. They're third in as many games, so that's a factor because of how dangerous these Soviets are, even when they're shorthanded. Here's Mario Lemieux. Back to Bork. Shot the flex. Comes to Gretzky. Gretzky to Bork. Side of the net to Lemieux. Back to Bork again. Over to Coffey. Coffey to Lemieux. Back to Bork to Coffey. Shoots, Bella shaking the same rebound. They score! Mario Lemieux! Oh, they moved it around. That's Coffey's shot. The rebound, Gretzky, Lemieux. Boy, this has been a story all night long, these two guys. That's Lemieux's seventh shot on goal. His second goal of the night. Well, nothing Belichakin could do. He tried to handle the one rebound. And it will be Gretzky's fourth assist of this game. That's right. Power play goal, 5-4 Canada. Mario Lemieux, second of the night, is ninth of this series. Still 9.46 left in regulation time. Now it's hang on time. Here we go. Canada with the lead again. Near the Soviet line. Cleared up and here's Kaminsky. Poking it in. Rossport there to fire it back up. And it's taken by Perbukin, number five, to Bekov. Rochefort checks in, and Messier for Canada. Gives it to Glenn Anderson. Anderson having difficulty. Rochefort there to cover up. And here's Rochefort stick handling up ice. Into the Soviet zone for Rochefort. Back of the net for Dota. Quickly clearing it out. And it's taken by Howard Chuck. Back to Crossman. The Dale Howard Chuck. He gets tied up at the line. Howard Chuck continues to battle, but now back off to Homotop. Here's Homotop, number 15. Shot blocked at the defense and then kicked out by Bork. Held in, another shot blocked by Bork. And Bork clears it to Anderson. Anderson firing it in. Brent Sutter in to get it. Fellow shaken, clearing it around. Back off there. Sutter in to hammer him. Here's Delno. Over in the other corner to Gusarov. Fires it out into center ice. Murphy for Canada. Bekov takes over for the Soviets. Pass goes into center ice and Bork fires it back in. Here's Gusarov. Long lead pass. Misses everyone. Goes the length of the ice. Bork back to touch it. Icing against the Soviets. 8-11. Left in regulation time. 5-4 in favor of Canada. Well, the thing you got to like about what's happening right now on the ice is Canada is trying to hem them in their own zone. Difficult to score from there. Some great forechecking. Sutter in the middle of all of that. And uh, Mike Keenan. Yeah, this crowd, if there's anything going to give them the extra adrenaline they might need, because I'll tell you, it is a tired Team Canada right now. This crowd may be that little extra spur. They are really on it. The last goal, Mario Lemieux from Gretzky and Coffee at 10-14 on the power play, their first of the game. 
in which they've been successful. Here are the Soviets with Semyonov, number 30, moves in. Shot blocked by Crossman, couldn't clear it. Now Samak back of the net. Gretzky there to check him. And Prop beats Lemieux. One on one against Batista. Here's Big Mario. Trying to move in, gets tied up. Looking to pass it, does. Prop right in. Shoots. Bellow Shaken the save. Another shot. And Bellow Shaken stopped back. Good chances there for Canada. Here's Crossman back in his own zone. Over to Coffey, back to Doug Crossman. And he flips it in. Batisov back for the Soviets. Over for Perbukin. Out to Bekov, Coffey intercepting. Coffey to Murphy. Murphy off the board, shot into the Soviet zone. Batisov back to try and clear it. Now Glenn Anderson bumping in there. Anderson trying to come up with the puck, does to Murphy. Big shot, it's blocked, and the Soviets break out, but Bork comes up aggressively to knock it back in. Here's Perbukin. Ahead for Kumalat, number eight. Less than seven minutes to play, long shot. And it's cleared by Pure to Anderson. Going back is Bork. Out to Goulet, who's able to take the man out of the play and let the puck get out of there. And the Soviets, Spadota, clearing it. Here's Gilmore for Canada. He just flips it up near the Soviet line. Verbukin cleared it. Gilmore intercepts. Drops it back to Murphy. Murphy firing it in. Digging in is Mike Gartner. Gartner to Sutter. Sutter back to Gartner. Back of the net. Into the other corner. Gilmore against Padotov. Gilmore holding it in. Gilmore trying to get loose. Padotov took him out. And Makarov has it for the Soviets. 16 left in regulation time. Good play by Gilmore to break up a Makarov rush. Cleared back in. Now Lariana feeding it across. Shot into center ice. Here's Makarov for the Soviets. The crew top to Makarov. Tipped away at the defense. And Canada come back. Gartner trying to break out of there. 5.46 left in regulation time. Rochefort for Canada. Canada with a 5-4 lead. They dump it in. Still no back to get it. Power Chuck in the four check. Power Chuck against Stelno. Now Stelno but the other side and Gretzky's on top of him. Lemieux coming up with a to Gretzky. Gretzky shoots wide with a big slap shot. And the Soviets take over and start to move out. Stelno into center ice to Homata. Homata checked in the play. And Canada. Howard Chuck cleared it. Now it comes back to the blue line. And Bork for Canada fires it to center. Here's Gretzky. Five minutes left. Gretzky with Lemieux. Pass to Lemieux. Over top of the net this time as the puck went on in. Now Mario Lemieux in the corner to Gretzky. Bekoff intercepting. And the Soviets clear it out. 4.45 left in regulation time. What action here in Hamilton. Oh, this is just wonderful. 5-4, Canada leading. Kaminsky for the Soviets. Leaving it for Lomakin. Good play by Messier to break it up. And Canada come back with a lead pass to Kroc. To Anderson, shoots. Stick save, Bellow shaken. Round on the boards for Messier. He couldn't get it. And Homatop beats Beckoff. Now to Lomakin, back to Beckoff. 4-15 left in regulation time. Soviets... Samak shoots one. Saved by Pure on the short side. And Brian Prop for Canada cleared at the center. Kasatonov has it there. Clearing one. Here Semyonov moves in. Shoots. Pure the save. Rebound. Crossman just tipped that away. And then Canada clear at the center. Makarov for the pass. Coffee breaks it up. Three on two. Canada break. Coffee moving in. Tried to center, but it was offside at the Soviet line. Look at this. Here's Gretzky. Lemieux chipped it over top of the net. How about this one from the other end? Pure. One of the few chances the Soviets got. I'll tell you, you won't find a better period of hockey to see a team protect a lead. Canada almost perfect when it comes to the defense right now. Here's a loose puck with Mike Gartner trying to break in. Priyakin checks in. And Priyakin fires it in for the Soviets. 
Muir back of the net. Fires it up high on the glass. And Canada able to carry off with Larry Murphy. 3.25 left in regulation time. There's Gartner in to try and get it. Soviets break out. It's Priyakin. Two men back for Canada. Priyakin trying to move in. Murphy stares into the corner. Centered. Nobody could get a stick on it. Still no. Back of the net. And it's taken by Gilmore for Canada. Out to Brent Sutter. Back to Doug Gilmore. Gilmore flipping it in and the play is offside. Sutter jumped the gun on the right side at the Soviet line. Three minutes left in regulation time. Well, it's almost as you look at Brent Sutter head for the bench. These are the guys, of course, the Sutters and so on, that are charged with trying to keep the Soviets off the board the rest of the way. We have now watched a full game and an overtime and almost a full game here. And what has been decided? These two teams are so close. There's Krutov shooting it in for the Soviets. Ryan Prop there to fire it back out. And the Soviets, Larionov will go back, and this is going to be icing against Canada. 2.46 remaining, and the Soviets with a key faceoff coming up in Team Canada's end of the rink. Well, we'll see who takes the draw down in the Team Canada end. They've got the Larionov line out there. I want to bet that Gretzky comes out. Well, I'd say Messier. He, uh, Messier is. he hops out there against Larry Hoff. That's right. Yeah. Now, this will be a very big face-off with 2.46 remaining. The one thing that Canada did, the crowd got going and Canada got going after they got the goal. It was almost like a shot of adrenaline because the team that was dead tired suddenly really picked it up and took it to the Soviets in their own end, and that was the key to it. And at this stage, Canada's Messier does the job, wins the faceoff, and Crossman trying to get it out of there, tipped it on the boards, comes back to Doug Crossman. Now oh, fired by Messier to center ice. Here's Bakara. Bork breaks him up for that rush up at the blue line, and here's Howard Chuck flipping it into the Soviet zone. Batisov back to get it. Makarov in the center ice over to Krutov. Krutov diving, checked by Howard Chuck. And then Murphy comes up with it. Couldn't clear it out, but it is carried out now to center. And here's Howard Chuck. He couldn't control it. Now Anderson trailing, intercepting one. Anderson centers, knocked away, and the Soviets clear it to Krutov. Two minutes left in regulation time. Homotov spun around by Howard Chuck. Canada coming back with Messier, firing it in. Here's Gilmore shooting off the blocker. Uh, Bello shaken, and now Lemieux in there to try and steal it. Here's Gilmore charging in. Soviets break up. Back off, but Gretzky is there to back check. Here's Padota trying to carry in. And Murphy stands his ground, and then the play is offside at the... Team Canada line, 1.32 left in regulation time. Larry Murphy, they're all the defense playing well right now, but two patterns have followed the last couple of nights, and one of them is the defense tightens up, but the other has been some terrific play in the third period for Team Canada by Doug Gilmore. What a third period he has played defensively. It's almost like he has... Uh, you know, stronger legs than the rest of them. He hasn't played as much as some in this tournament. He's out there now discussing strategy with Wayne Gretzky. It's Gretzky, Gilmore, and Lemieux. The forward line. Canada clear at the center, but Dotop trying to shoot it back in. Rochefort is there to clear it. Gretzky tipped it, and they rolled it off a Soviet player, so there's no icing. 120 left in regulation time. Here's Becca. Gets to center. Trying to clear it. Gretzky back checking. Got it to Gilmore. Gilmore flipped it into center ice. Here is Demjanski trying to break through. Shoots. He scores! Demjanski with a brilliant goal ties this game up with 104 left. Oh, what a goal. The defense didn't play the man on this. They got backing in, and Kaminsky just got between. Rush for it. I think it was Crossman in there, but this great speed, and he just got a little bit of a march. Tried to tackle him. Crossman came across, but then Kamienski. This 
fighting his way past what was almost a tackle by Rushmore. They got to give him full marks. Oh, oh yeah. Goal. Oh yeah. Game with 104 left in regulation time. Assisted by number 27, Beckoff gets an assist. As does Perbukin, but it was mainly the brilliant individual effort of Kimiansky, who was the hero of the second game at Rendezvous in Quebec City. Just knifed through the defense. He was he got such a good jump as he got that puck and he just split it. And as overtime loom once again. Soviets, by the way, have called a timeout here. The goal came at the 1856 mark. Barbukin and Bekov from Kamiensky. Rosh four and Crossman. He got around. Well, three guys trailing on him. That was just individual effort. 5-5 five, five with 104 left in regulation time. Messier against Lariana. Canada from the faceoff, controlling it with Crossman. We're in the final minute of regulation time. Flipped in and Petisov there to beat it to Makarov. Now to Karuta. He moves in and knocking it down and carrying back up for Canada. This Crossman flipped in. Soviets quickly fired right back out and Krutov picks it up. Krutov to Lariana. Lariana moving in, trying to center, did, but Krutov was well in check. Now Patisov at the point. His shot wide. 25 seconds left. Copy to Murphy. Canada break away. Gartner was in the clear, but the pass knocked down by Patisov. Patisov playing it up the boards. Near the Canadian line, and Murphy shoots it back in. Kasatonov is there. Now Gilmore for Canada. Eight seconds left. Flipping it in. Batisov there to wind it around on the boards. And it's Krutov clearing the center. We will have sudden death overtime for the second game in a row in this final series between the Soviets and Canada. And credit a brilliant move by Valery Kamiensky to tie it with 104 to play and send it into overtime. Here we go with sudden death. Messier winning the faceoff, but it's immediately into the Soviet zone. Batisov trying to clear it. Bork held it in. Now Anderson in on the boards. Batisov goes back the other way to Kasatonov. To Makarov down right wing. Makarov moving in, leaving it there. Here's Krutov. Put it in front and Fjord came out and Krutov tripped over. Back down Canada. Here's Anderson moving in on right wing. Glenn Anderson to Messier. Messier back of the net. Messier trying to drop it back and it comes into center ice. Mark Messier to Bork of the Boston Bruins for Team Canada. Now to Anderson to Messier. Messier in with Lemieux and they whistle that down on an offside. Lemieux in ahead of the play over on right wing. Just a step as he got a little over anxious. Messier coming in over the line. You'll see short chips. Good chance, of course, anytime you see Makarov and Karutov out there. And Karutov with that speed got around the defense. Bork just leaning back, tried to get enough of a stick on Karutov's stick to prevent any play. And Buck wound up in the corner. You see the scoring leaders, topped by Gretzky with 18 points. Here are the Soviets firing it around in the boards. Gusarov cleared it in. Loose puck in front, but as soon as the Team Canada player touched the puck, the play is called and an icing call, and it will come back down deep into the Soviet end of the ring. Well, we mentioned the fatigue factor during the third period. There is a stretch there where Team Canada did not look fatigued at all. As a matter of fact, it looked like the Soviets might have been fatigued. But I would think that the longer we go in this, I think if Team Canada had its brothers, they'd like to get the goal early. Gretzky, Goulet, and Lemieux. Ready on a face-off. Back off against Gretzky. Gretzky the draw. Back on the point. Shot is up high. Over top of the net as Crossman let it go. Soviets clear it. Here's Crossman to Paul Coffey. He cleared it. 
Soviets hustling back to touch the bucket. It's going to be icing against Canada. And now the pressure on Canada with a big face-off in their end of the ring. Well, we'll see how the Soviets send out for the, this face-off. They make the changes. They're well aware of the... We watch Tikhonov on the bench, Soviet Union. See the big guy standing behind him. I asked Igor Dmitriev, who the fittest guy and the strongest guy on his team. The guy standing right behind Tikhonov is the trainer. He's been coming here for years. And he says, that guy is the strongest guy on our team. <laughs> Here's Samak, who scored the overtime winner in Montreal on the face-off, and Messier wins the draw. Bork has it for Canada. Bork trying to move it out of there, dropping it back with a little pass to Anderson. Now to Gartner. Gartner moving in. Gartner shoots. That was shaking the save. But no chance as he throws that. And Anderson went barging in to try and get a loose puck. I think in this overtime you're going to see a lot of whistles. We went long stretches where the play was con constantly in. But here, Bieloshekin's not going to take any chances. He just covers it up, really with a man of his own right there, but with Team Canada moving in. So we've had a couple of icings. We've had about four whistles here in the first minute and 29 seconds of the period. And, of course, each time a whistle comes, each team makes a change. Canada sending out... Gretzky, Lemieux, and Goulet. Soviets counter with Inchinov, Priyakin, and Hubalev. Soviets have got the last change here as the home team, but they don't bother matching. And I asked again Dmitriev, who has become the spokesman rather than Tikhonov for the hockey club, said, have you ever tried to kind of match lines? He says, yes, we tried. At one point in the first game, we tried, and every time we tried, Deneen, or Keenan rather, sent Gretzky out. So he says, we just gave up. Now Gretzky comes to talk to the referee about something. That was Dmitriev, by the way, you saw in the foreground of the picture on the bench. Some say he will eventually be the head coach of the Soviet national team, which I guess will make things a lot easier on we, the reporting staff, because he speaks German fluently and some English. Here's Gretzky against Nemchinov, deep in the Soviet zone. They played a minute 29 of overtime, and they're going to toss Nemchinov out of there. And they'll have to send in someone else to take the face off. That's the Swedish linesman we have, Sven Olaf Lundström. And he's not putting up with any nonsense. Bumalap against Gretzky. Gretzky the draw into the corner, but Lemieux was going the other way. And Nemchinov breaks out for the Soviets. Broken up by Crossman. Flip back near the Soviet line. Kasatonov is there. And Priyakin dumps it in for the Soviet Union. Paul Coffey back to get it. To Mario Lemieux. Held in at the point by Petisov. Again, Petisov holding it in, but now carrying up is Michelle Goulet. Goulet scooping it in. And then Goulet gets checked from behind, and he's shaken up. No sign of a penalty being called, but Goulet is injured. He got a stick across the face as he unloaded the shot into the corner, and he just went down like he'd been poleaxed. You know, when you get a stick around the eyes like this, just checking on, looked like it rode up on him. There it is. Took it right across the face. And so... Uh, he's checking to see if uh, all of the ivories are there or not. It was Priyakin who got the stick up on Goulet, number 22. That's one of those plays where you're checking and trying to hook and interfere with the player. It happens sometimes. Everything seems to be there. Now Messier back out there with Anderson and Gartner. Face off at the Soviet line. The Soviets' big five out there. Larry on up, the car off, and crew top with Batisov and Kasatonov on defense. Canada shoot it in. Kasatonov trying to clear it. Bork pinching in. Bork shot blocked, and the Soviets get it to crew top. Crew top working in. And a good defensive play by Murphy to break it up. And here's Anderson into center ice to Messier. He gets tied up, and Bork circles back for Canada. Bork clearing it into center. 
into the Soviet zone and Kasatonov is back after it. He's checked by Gartner. It's knocked back of the net, but Batisov is there. And here come the Soviets. Krutov to Lariana. Murphy tips it away for Canada. Messier took a man out of the play, and here's Anderson. Anderson ahead to Messier. Call back on a two-line offside pass. There's Marc Messier, a monumental figure. If I were going to pick one player who has been there every game from the opening bell to this point in the tournament, it would be Marc Messier. This is the eighth game of the tournament. He has played every shift the same way. We mentioned earlier in the telecast how intimidating he is. Here are the Soviets with a long shot. You're handling it, and Coffey has it for Canada. Coffey out to Lemieux. To Gretzky. Gretzky breaking in with Howard Chuck. Pass to Howard Chuck. Just tipped by the Soviet defense. Bekov back the other way. Two on two break. Bekov trying to go around Coffey. Slides it in front. Still loose at the side of the goal. Now back of Team Canada's net. And Canada come up with it. And here's Lemieux getting it out of the zone. Soviets with Kemiensky. To Homotov. He's checked by Lemieux. Lemieux is too well tied up, and here's Kamiensky. Moves in, shoots, pure a save on Kamiensky, and then Crossman cleared it up over the glass as we approach the four-minute mark of overtime. Very tense here in the Cops Coliseum in Hamilton. 5-5 in overtime. A little closer to the best now. Each team afraid to make a mistake. Watch people like Crossman's just sitting down there having big, big games. Team Canada with a chance here. Gretzky trying to feed it across. I don't know whether he should have taken the shot, but that defenseman was down, and he's the one that deflected it. I think Gretzky could see the play, and Howard Chuck on the other side but never got the puck. Sutter winning a faceoff, gets it to Gilmore. Who can't? He can't get it out. Lomacken trying to center, and Rochefort has it for Canada. Team Canada trying to break it out of there. Patrick into center ice to Sutter. Sutter check. It's knocked back in. And Rochefort goes back for Canada. Firing it out on the boards to Brent Sutter. He missed it. And Semyonov will have to chase back. Semyonov, number 30, fires it to center. Patrick knocks that down. Rochefort comes out and makes a play. Now Gilmore takes a man out of the play. And here's Sutter. But Semyonov intercepts his pass. Firing it back in, and Murphy goes back to get it. Larry Murphy. Carrying into center ice. Fires it in. Batisov is there to clear it. Now held in by Gilmore. Lomakin getting it. And the Soviets break out. Into center ice. Humalak. A long shot. Muir got a piece of it. It ricocheted to the corner. Now Manchinov holding it in, but Bork is there to clear it. Lumalev held it in. Into the corner. Priyakin can't center it, and Bork has it for Canada. Bork to Messier, just missed him with it. Soviets Priyakin. Showed it back in. Murphy is there. Off the boards to Gartner. Gartner to Anderson. Glenn Anderson into center ice. To Gartner. Shot it in. Soviets clear it right back out. Nasatona. Into center ice to Makarov. He played it off the boards. And Canada's Crossman back to clear it. Larionov lets it go to Patisov. Shot blocked. Now Gretzky trying to break out. Just missed Lemieux with a quick outlet pass. And down the ice it goes. Asatonov trying to clear one. Poppy breaks it up. Over to Goulet. Goulet for Canada. Giving it to Gretzky in front to Lemieux. Rebound, Gretzky. That's knocked off the puck. And Kasatona has it for the Soviets to Makara. Mario Lemieux for Canada. Flips it back in. The Tisant there to pick it up. Now up to Lariana. Head manning at the Kasatona. Soviets move in. Here's a chance. Centered. Pure big save rebound. Pure stop that too from Kruta. Who twice just about ended this game. Oh, the defense got caught. And I think that the Soviets can be accused of getting a little too fancy on the play. Karutov had the best chance. Here we come. Kazatonov. 
There's the pass across the goal mark by Larry Otto when he might have been able to shoot himself. And then the backhand shot with Fuhr down. But Fuhr never seems to lose track of the puck. Even down, he's looking at it, concentrating, and knocking it out of midair and putting his glove on it. So be it's about John Canada here in overtime. Six to two. Big face off coming up deep in Canada's end of the rink. Brent Sutter will take it for Canada against Beckoff for the Soviet Union. Now they get ready for the face off. Howard Chuck getting into position. It's Sutter, Gilmore, and Howard Chuck for Canada. Beckoff wins the draw. Gilmore back of his own net. Gilmore flipped it, knocked down by Homatop, centered it out in front, still loose, another shot, and Fjord had to come up big again, centered once more. There's a shot, Gilmore blocks that. Sutter for Canada, trying to clear it to Howard Chuck. Howard Chuck breaking in on right wing, has Gilmore with him. Gives it to Gilmore, shoots, double shake into his knees. The stop, Doug Gilmore. And then a big pileup. Well, Canada has only had the three shots in the period now, but they have been three pretty good chances. Nice little drop pass there, Howard Chuck to Gilmore. Mentioned how Gilmore played in that third period, still very much involved. Now a big face off down on the Soviet end. We played 6.29 of overtime. And Canada sending out a new line. Gretzky, Lemieux, and Gula. Semyonov will take the face off here for the Soviets. Sudden death overtime. If Canada wins, we have a third game. If the Soviets win, they win the 1987 version of the Canada Cup. Semyonov against Gretzky. Big face-off to the left of the Soviet goal. Here's Lemieux getting it, chips it into the other corner. Lemieux in to get it again to Gretzky, out in front for Gretzky. Back to Crossman. Shoots one, Bellow shaking the save. Goulet the rebound, Gretzky! Couldn't get to the puck as Padotov tied him up. And the Soviets then clear it out of there. Coffey going back. Close call there for Canada. Coffey to Crossman. To Goulet at center. Michelle Goulet moving in. Tied up by Patotop. Goulet to the corner. In comes Lemieux. And Canada forced another faceoff from the Soviet zone. Get those faceoffs down there. That's what they're trying to do. Now, off the faceoff, they had that good sequence. Now they'll try it from this side of the ice. Goulet piling into the corner after that puck. But everybody's playing it tough right now. Goulet running his man in against the boards. That uh, was Perbukin, who the oldest guy on the Soviet team at 31. Now Gilmore, Howard Chuck, and Brent Sutter for Canada. Face off. One by Gilmore to Howard Chuck to copy. Fires it into the corner. The tease off is there. Howard Chuck checks him. Now to Gilmore, but he had been knocked down behind the net. Soviets on the boards. Gilmore centers. Intercepted by Humalap, and now Patisop clears to center. Crossman back to get it. Crossman to Howard Chuck. This is Sutter with it into the other corner. Priyakin back for the Soviets. Priyakin checked on the play as Howard Chuck moves in into Brent Sutter. Sutter trying to center. Round of the boards. Coffee pinching in. Coffee into the corner. Couldn't get it back. And Kasatonov clears it out of there down the ice. Canada's Murphy going back. He's going to let Coffee play the bucket. It's icing against the Soviets. And another face-off in the Soviet zone. Five-five. 
That's Nemchinov, number 12, having a little battle here with Howarchuk. Now, this was just a lot of the referee looking right on, Howarchuk. Now, you're not going to, like any game, this kind of stuff you're going to get away with in an overtime. It's just a lot of holding going on. Nobody wants to let anybody get away from them. Howarchuk saying, boy, tough sledding out there. Messier, Anderson, and Gartner now for Canada. Larry on up, Makar up, and Krutz out for the Soviets. And now at the last second, Dusarov wants to go to the Soviet bench and get a new stick. Pretty good defenseman, this Dusarov. He, defensive style defenseman, but he's one of those guys that can really rough it up. Play tough. Messier on the faceoff with Larry on up. Soviets come up with it and Karutov beats Bakara. He gets to center. Anderson tying him up and Canada take control. Lead pass to Gartner. He moves in and Gusarov took him out of the play. And on to the other side. Stelno flipping it out and Krutov just clears it down the ice. With Bork back for Canada. We're at sudden death overtime as Bork Carries to center to Mike Gartner. Gartner speeding in, cuts in front, branches into the goaltender. Now Messier knocked down, and Krutov cleared it right in front of his own net. But the Soviets are there and come to center. Here's Krutov getting the return pass, leaving it for Makarov. Checked from behind by Anderson. Back comes Gartner. Gartner to Messier. He tips it in. Handed a change on the fly. Soviets Larianov flipping it into center. Here's Makarov trying to get away from Gulai. Does Makarov checked by Lemieux from behind? Lemieux stays with him. Makarov loses to Lemieux. And Mario Lemieux feeds Gretzky. Gretzky into Gulai. Gulai to Lemieux. Lemieux can't get turned around now. Does behind the net to Gretzky. Knocked away from Gretzky. And breaking out for Dota. To Homatop, number 15. Homatop stick handling brilliantly. Cross to Kaminsky, shooting right on. And Fjord the save and back the other way. Lemieux with Gula. Two on two break. Lemieux cruising, looking to center, does. Deflected and went wide. And Bekov has it for the Soviets. Here's Kaminsky. Loses a Gretzky back in with Power Chuck. Power Chuck trying to center to Sutter. Still at the side of the net, loose and Kaminsky. Back for the Soviets. To Bekov. Broken up and Coffey takes over for Canada. Paul Coffey streaking down left wing. Coffey shoots up high over the glass. Oh. How long can this go on? Team Canada with its life on the line as a team they lose this game and it breaks up and they head to their own training camps and they're playing like it Paul Coffey nobody is more exciting in the NHL on an end-to-end -end rush than Paul Coffey these days over the line and there's the shot it's deflected shots on goal and overtime favor the Soviets nine to three that's deceptive, Dan. I think that the play has been a little closer than that. Canada's had three excellent scoring chances, the sh three shots. Sutter, Gilmore, and Prop up front for Canada. From the faceoff, Gilmore gets it, flips it in front. Prop couldn't get to it. Prop behind the net. Now comes in front, Gilmore. Knocked off the puck, and the Soviets break out of there. Number 18, Samak, who scored the winner in game one. Taken out of the play by Patrick. Prop knocking it back of the net. And Rochefort has it for Canada. Soviet Semyonov knocked it back of the net. And here is Prop out to James Patrick. Patrick flipping it in. Vasatonov back to get it for the Soviets. Right up the middle was the pass to Semyonov. Soviets breaking in Semyonov. Rochefort ties him up and Gretzky there to clear it up. Canada get it into center ice. Same act, losing it. Here's Gusara. Hits the linesman with it. Soviets pick it up. Lomakin going in. Lomakin tied up by Rochefort. 
And Mario Lemieux tries to flip it up. But Tisop held it in. Back of the net goes Murphy. Larry Murphy for Canada. To prop who dumps it in. Hello, Shaken, leaving it there. Stelno has it for the Soviets. Into center ice. Chance for Humalep off the glass. Rebound. Oh, and that's fired wide by Priyakin with Fjord down and out of position. Here's Priyakin again, feeding it to Humalep. Back to Priyakin, missed him. Canada trying to break down, but it's fired back in by the Soviets. Soviets just had two great chances. Here comes Coffey for Canada. Tried to clear it in, intercepted. Makarov trying to break away. Gartner tied him up. And now Gretzky takes over for Canada. Gretzky down right wing to Doug Crossman. Goes in, shoots, Bello shaking the save. Larianov cleared the rebound. Soviets with Perbukin clearing it to center to Makarov. Makarov trying to stick handle in. Does, centered it. No one there, comes to Perbukin. Fired it behind the net. And Bork flips it to Glenn Anderson. Anderson for Canada to Murphy. Round on the boards to Bork. Seven and a half minutes left in the first overtime. Here's Bork to Anderson, picked up by Messier. He's checked, and Bork has it and flips it in. Racing in to get it as Anderson. Anderson shoots, Bello shaken the save. Rebound, poked at by Sutter, but Bello shaken, able to freeze it. Some great chances for Team Canada. They're getting them. This play in front, that's a good shot because there was a decoy in front and Bello shaken stuck with the puck carrier on that play. Sometimes the tendency is to pull away from that post and go for the guy coming up the middle. Yellow Shaken stayed right with it and made the save and hung on. And this is tough stuff. That's Rushmore checking on Semyonov. Rushmore's played a great game for Canada. Even. Here's Brent Sutter, but the Soviets win the faceoff, and Fatisov gets it into center ice. Shot in there by Homatov, and Canada go back and try and clear it out. Knocked down by Bekoff of the boards. Into Homatov. Homatov centered a shot. Block at the defense. Oh, Kasatonov almost won it. And it hits someone in front of the net. And then Goulet clears it down the ice. Wow. Well, we're having the chances at both ends, but the Soviets moving that puck around so well are presenting themselves with clearer chances in front of Fjord, and Fjord's been terrific in this period. Here it is again, and Kasatonov is number seven, floating around in that slot area, looking for a loose puck, and it's just bouncing around in there. Kasatonov trying to find a man in front, but it never did get back out in front as the defense moved in to cover up. There's big Kasatonov right there. Now the face-off deep in Team Canada's end of the ring. Lemieux against Semyonov. Well, they have three centers out there, so they have their choice. Lemieux, Gretzky, and Auerchuk. We mentioned the fatigue factor. I can guarantee you that I don't care how well-conditioned the Soviets are. They're as tired as Team Canada is right now. Semyonov against Mario Lemieux. Deep in Team Canada's end of the rink. Canada winning the draw, and here's Coffey. Firing it out on the boards, chipped by Howard Chuck into center ice. Semyonov back to get it. His pass. Now tipped ahead, long shot, pure, long save. There's that Samak again, who won game one, and he just ripped one of Pure. Well, that one didn't handcuff Pure like the one that won the game the other night, but he was sure going for the top shelf. That's a slap shot. The other one was a wrist shot. You're out at the top of the crease on that one, was able to get the glove up. This game now, well, we started it at 8.20, so we're going a long way, and an awful lot of high tempo hockey has been played. You see that save by Fuhrer again? 
It's what, three hours and 20 minutes old here in clock time. Here's Nemchinov against Messier deep in Team Canada's end of the ring. Coffee now coming out to question the referee Stewart about something. I can't imagine what that is. Positioning a face off perhaps, but. Whatever it is, copy was sent by Mike Keenan and now returns with the answer. Now copy comes back out there. I know what it was all about. I think Mike Keenan wanted to give some people a little bit of a breather. And I think he did a pretty good job of it. He gets away with it. The Soviets are going to make a change as well. Soviets have got the last change here. I don't know whether yeah, they're chasing everybody back or you send the last guys that Canada put on the ice. The Tisov's out there discussing the subject with Yellow Shaken. Yellow Shaken's a, one would say, a character, I guess. Uh, doing a little skating. He skated all the way up to the, the blue line. He, Tens of times to just kind of sit down on the crease, right on his knees, and rest when the play goes up the other end of the ice. Hasn't done that as much in this tournament as he did in the Calgary Cup last year. Maybe or, or rendezvous where he was doing it a lot as well. He played a pretty good game tonight. Each goaltender's let in five, but against offenses like this, five isn't so many. Here's Messier, and Nimchinov wins the draw. But Dotop at the point with a shot that deflects, and Gretzky has it for Canada. Gretzky firing it in. It changed directions but went wide. Lemieux in to try and get it, but Dotop quickly cleared it, and Larionov breaks up. Larionov, number 11. Stick handles in. In deeper. Shoots, put it up high. Off a stick and into the crowd. We're approaching the 14-minute mark of overtime. Well, Arianov, I mentioned the other night, he's not really been much of a factor in this tournament. His wingmates have, but some say, and can't get anybody to really admit it, that he's playing hurt. A couple of nice moves, and then the deflected shot. Defenseman stuck right with him. Defenseman keeping everybody in front of him now, not allowing anybody to sneak in behind. 11-5 shots on goal now as we're taking off. He's probably a little more relaxed than the other coach. He's got a little leeway. He loses tonight. He gets another shot at Team Canada. Mike Keenan loses, and it's all over. Gilmore wins an important faceoff, and Canada's end of the rink. Canada moving up. Gilmore sliding it off the boards, and Beckoff goes back over to Gusara, feeding it up the ice. Omatov into Beckoff. Beckoff. Trying to get around Bork. Tries to center. Here's Homatop behind the net. Homatop for the Soviet centers. Bekov firing it back. Fjord knocks it away. And Murphy has it for Canada. Larry Murphy up the middle to Gartner. He tips it down the ice. And Bello shaken. Out to play it. And Gusarov trying to clear it out of there again. Long pass for Homatop. And that's offside at the Team Canada blue line. 5.27 left in period of overtime number one. Kamensky arguing there, just like an NHLer. That was not offside. Right at the line, he says. Jean Perrault in the background, Mike Keenan in front. Boy, the tension in this building. The crowd is still up, but, but you can feel it. They just Everything's on the edge of the seats now. Every time Canada picks up the puck, you see the ooh, and every time the Soviets make their attack, prolonged overtime period here. This is the longest overtime in the history of the Soviet Union because the game in which Bossy scored in the 84 Canada Cup went 12 minutes and 29 seconds. Here's Semyonov dumping it in. Canada from behind their own goal led by Paul Coppi. Coppi trying to flip it in. Broken up for Bukin shoots it out and here's Samak. Lemieux checks in to prop. Brian Prop shoots wide from well out. 
But no time back together. That's Brent Sutter into the corner. Sander out in front. Cleared away by the Soviets. And back they come. Same act to Priyakin. Now to Lomakin. Lomakin trying to cut around top. He centered to Same act. Puts it in front, but Canada there to clear it away. And here is Lemieux to Brent Sutter. Sutter moving in, looking for Prop. Prop into the slot, shoot, stick save by Bella Shaken and Samak has the rebound. The Padota, that's knocked away. Goulet tried to clear it in. Here's Patisov. Quick pass ahead. Samak trying to beat it to Semyonov. He's taken up by Bork. And here's Gretzky to Goulet with a perfect pass. Into Lemieux. And that's offside at the Soviet blue line. That was a tough offside right at the line. The linesman was right there. Lemieux took that pass, and apparently, according to the linesman, it was just a shade ahead of the puck as he crossed the line. 4-18 left in the first overtime period. And Brian Prop. I think that shot go. Now that hit the stick. And I guess it was enough of the stick or it hit somebody coming around behind the net. But for a moment it might have hit the post coming behind him. Now here's Ray Bork just doing a number on Semyonov. It's tough out there. Back to the live action. 4-12 left in the first overtime. Here's a lead pass to Gartner. Tipped in. Bellow shaken out of the net. Gartner digs in. Getting it. Canada's Anderson trying to center. Now Gartner. Continuing to battle. Here's Murphy. Shoots. Bellow shaken. Just got his stick on that. After it, Gartner a drive wide of the target. Here's Messier. Behind the net to Gartner. Back to Messier. He's taken out of the play. Anderson then gets wrestled down by Larianov. And Makarov clears it into center ice. Soviets with Kasatona carrying in. Trying to center. Good play by Messier to break it up. And here's Glenn Anderson. Anderson passing to Bork. Canada make a whole change on the fly. Kasatonov back to Krutop. Lemieux held it in. Into the corner to Gretzky. Gretzky centered. Bellow shaken knocks that away. Kasatonov trying to clear it. Now Gretzky back out to Crossman. Crossman at the point. Shoots. That's blocked. And Krutop back the other way with Makara. Here's Krutop racing in. He's checked and copy into center ice to Gretzky. To Paul Coffey. Coffey leaving it. Shot by Krupp. Bellow shaken got his blocker up to stop that. Now Gretzky trying to center to Krupp again. Krupp gets knocked off the puck. And then it's shot back in by Kosman offside at the Soviet blue line. 2.40 left in the first period of overtime. Ryan Krupp getting a couple of pretty good chances. Drop that earlier rush. Here he comes now. Getting that drop pass. Great shot. Now Gilmore, Howard Chuck, and Sutter out there for Team Canada. Rossmore out on defense. Along with James Patrick. Played 17 minutes and 20 seconds of overtime. Now at the last second, Canada make a change. Coffee comes up along with Prosta. Gilmore tossed out of the faceoff, and stepping in will be Brent Sutter. Sutter getting it. Rink wide pass to Coffee. Coffee fires it in. Digging in Gilmore. Scoops it to Brent Sutter. Sutter taken out behind the net. Gilmore in to help out with the play behind the net and Canada force another faceoff in the Soviet zone. Brent Sutter doing a lot of hard work against Fedotov down in there behind the net. Well, I remember Sutter, monumental role they had. With Bossy, Tonelli, 84 Canada Cup. Hasn't been given the opportunity to really show his wares in this one because of the number of positions he's been forced to play with the injuries and so on. 
Canada going out. against Sutter. I was going to say, Canada going with the three lines. Here's Howard Chuck getting it to Crossman. Crossman put it in front. Bellow shaken, cleared that away. And Fedotov has it. Fedotov fired at the center. Knocked down by Howard Chuck to Gilmore. Gilmore moving in, trying to center. Comes to Howard Chuck. Howard Chuck trying to get it in front. Does. Over onto the other wing. And the Soviets are able to clear it. Crossman to Paul Coffey. Back to Doug Crossman. Lead pass to Howard Chuck. Bello shaken out of the net to scoop it away. And Fedotov able to fire it back down the ice. And Murphy goes back to get it. Murphy to Bork. Bork trying to fire it in at its offside at the Soviets' blue line. And we're down to 139 left in the first overtime period. Well, the way things have gone, the Soviets are their most dangerous in the late moments of the period. Well, Mike Gardner, he's playing hurt a bit in this series, but continues to be, I think, a very big factor, especially in the defensive side of his game. Two weary hockey teams battling here. Shots on goal, by the way, have really closed up. At one point, the Soviets had a very big margin. It's now 11-9 for the Soviets. At one point, it was 9-3. Here's Murphy for Canada. Scoops it into the Soviet zone. Bello shaken, had to play it. Soviets work it out, and here's Karuta. Dropping it to Krasatona. Now in the center ice. A car off for the Soviets. Breaks in. Shoots. Rest shot high. Karuta. Missed it. Here's Makara. He's taken out of the play, and Anderson breaks up. Lane Anderson to Messier. Messier dropping it back. And outside the line, Gartner scooped it back in. Soviets break out. Here's Mariana. His shot blocked, and Bork back to get it for Canada. Bork trying to clear it. We're in the final minute of the first overtime. Team Canada get it to center. Omatop trying to carry back in. Home atop against Bork. Now Bekov into the corner with Crossman. Brutoff is there. Messier tying him up. And Messier able to scoop it out with 30 seconds left. Kasatona over to Home atop. Into Bekov. Leaving it there. Kasatona backhander. Your glove save. And he held on. We're down to 21 seconds left in overtime. Period one, that is. Backhand shot again on Fuhr, one that beat him earlier. They're tough to handle. At that time, Fuhr right on it. 21 seconds left in the first overtime period. Who would believe it? They scored 10 goals in the first three periods, and then go so this long without a goal, a tribute to the defenses of both of these clubs. Now, well, with the pace of this game, particularly in the first period, the noticeable difference here in overtime from both sides. They're weary, weary hockey players. Right. Now Canada, with just the three lines going, is, it's incredible that they can maintain it. And I, thought, I thought through the last 10 minutes of this period, Dan, the edge has been to Canada. Semyonov knocks it back to the net. Copy there to clear it to Gretzky. Gretzky around onto the other wing to Krop. Krop knocking it back to the net to Crossman. 10 seconds left in the overtime. Here's Padotov, a shot, blocked. Crossman has to go back. Clear it out onto the other wing. Prop shoots it down the ice, and that ends the first period of overtime. No scoring in period one of overtime. And we'll have to wait for a second overtime period to decide a game winner in game two. Well, there's no disputing the character of these two hockey clubs. Team Canada came from way behind in game one of the final. Soviets came from behind to tie this one. Here we go with overtime period number two. Loose puck, Gartner back of the net. Almost stolen from Fatisov. And Fatisov beats Krutov to Larionov to Karutov. Has Makarov with him. Karutov trying to go around Bork, around the net. Out in front, big save pure. After a great rush by Krutov. Canada starting back. Bork into center ice to Anderson. Anderson fakes the shot. Centers to Messier. Missed him. Gartner shot it well wide of the target. Bork pinching in. Jutes fellow shaking the save to his knees to get the rebound. Both teams with an early chance. 
Threw it right up on Yellow Shaken. Took that one right off his chest and it dropped at his feet. And he covered up. There's Kelly Rudy, the backup goaltender for Team Canada, watching from the bench. The backup goaltender for the Soviet Union has been standing all night. Still hasn't had a chance to sit down. Now Gretzky with Howard Chuck and Lemieux up front. Bekoff against Gretzky on this faceoff. Bekoff wins it and Gusarov feeds it to Homatov, who flies down right wing and clips it in. Fewer to clear it. Lemieux can't get it up. Now it is shot out by Canada, but back off at center. Intercepts. Back he comes. Shoots. Bjorn just got his right leg on that rocket. And now Canada get it to center ice. Racing after it is Howard Chuck. Howard Chuck couldn't get it. Kusarov coming up with it, trying to clear it. Here's Coffee. Shoots from the point. Howard Chuck in the corner. Leaves it for Gretzky. Back to Howard Chuck. Flips it in front. Lemieux was there, but. So was Beckoff, and he cleared it away. Here's Paul Coffey. Dumping it in, Gretzky in, but it's offside at the Soviet blue line. Uh, two lines on that play, a flip pass, rink wide. And linesman John D'Amico called that one. 127 gone in the overtime. Well, the Soviets. Get their chance right here, and this is a terrific shot. And well, oh, I'll tell you, Grant Fuhr. We'll start picking stars for this one. Gilmore, Sutter, and Prop for Canada now. Here's Rochefort, who's out in defense with James Patrick. Soviets. Well, Mackin trying to get away from Prop. Prop tied him up. And Patrick flips it off the boards into center ice. Here's Gilmore to head to Prop. Prop to Sutter. Sutter moves in, shooting. Double shake and a glove save, and then he cleared it to Seema. Fired around on the boards. And cleared into center by Fedotov. It comes back to Fedotov. And then he fires it down the ice. Patrick hustles back. That's icing against the Soviets. And Canada with a big face-off in the Soviet zone. The more face-offs Canada can get in the Soviets end of the wreck, naturally, when they play any team, but that's one thing, as you pointed out earlier, the Soviets don't match the North American teams on face off Soviet and Europeans, basically, don't consider the, the face-off as the tactical weapon that we do here in North America. Every team uh, in the NHL has its face-off specialist. Takes great pride in winning face-offs. We think of Bobby Clark over the years. Here's Gretzky against Nemchinov. The Soviets, Brian Clear, Coffey held it in, shot. Wide of the net, Gretzky into the corner. Trying to center for Gula. Back on the boards to Gretzky. Got it in front, but the Soviets clear it. And here comes Humalap over to Priyakin. Priyakin leaves it for Humalap. Shooting, pure the save. And Crossman cleared it away. Best chance of either team in this period right there. And Another great save by Grant Pure. That one was labeled. Well, there was a terrific pick run right here. It's illegal, of course, but on a two-on-two, -two, take a look at this play because as the Soviet comes over the blue line, he's dropping it off. Now he takes Coffee completely out of the play. Crossman was there, and they shot. But again, you see Coffee taken right out. He's out of the play now. And a clear shot on Pure, who's at the top of the circle again. Cut off the angle. Now Larion off against Messier deep in Canada's end of the ring. They played two and a half minutes of the second overtime period. I say a pick is illegal. It's interference in effect because the man doesn't have the puck. Canada control from the face off. Glenn Anderson. Got it into the center ice area. Larion off to Makarov. Makarov, number 24. Makarov trying to go around Murphy. Murphy tied him up. Makarov still after it. But just left there and Bork able to clear it out to Anderson to Messier. Messier to Gartner. Gartner breaking in on right wing. Centered it out in front. Oh, and Anderson just missed. Coffee a drive. A little shake and a stick save on that. And then the Soviets will ice the puck. And Canada will get another... Face off at the Soviet end of the ring. 
Well, not only are you seeing history being made in terms of this game in international hockey, but you may have seen some history here of the number of times the Soviets have iced the puck in this overtime. They are just looking to take the pressure off any time they can. Great effort by Gartner on Fatisov. He got that puck in front. But he just never got to the man coming to the net. Gartner's speed is his main weapon. And a terrific slap shot. Gretzky, Prop, and Lemieux for Canada. Coffee and Kent. And Crossman on defense. Back off on the faceoff with Gretzky. Gretzky gets it to Lemieux. Lemieux stick handling. Trying to get it to Gretzky. In front to Prop. Shot. Stick save. Bellow shaken. Prop didn't get good wood on the shot. Now back of the goal. Prop trying to center. Lemieux taken out by Gusarov. Soviet trying to clear it. Held in. Crossman to Gretzky. Gretzky back to Crossman. Goes in. Shooting on. Bellow shaken. A glove save. And he held on to it. And then Prop and Big Stelno. Almost get into it, and Mike Keenan can't believe that that one didn't go into the net. Well, he had the clear path. Good shot, but you needed a little more coverage in front of that net. Here it comes. Crossman will just tee it up. And as he does so, he saw it all the way. Stelnoff kept one prop off to the side, and those are the ones that a goaltender is supposed to stop. Now a late change for Canada. Crossman goes to the bench. Murphy out to team up with Coffey on the bench. Same forward line. Gretzky, Lemieux, and Prop up front. Semyonov against Gretzky. Puck comes to Murphy at the point. His shot blocked. Soviets clear it quickly to center. Coffey hustling over. Tips it away. Now Samak. Try to carry in, but Murphy knocked it down, and here's Lemieux. Mario Lemieux moving in. That's tied up on the play. Gretzky tried to hold it in, but Samak now breaks up. To Semyonov. Over to Priyakin, back to Semyonov. Leaves it for Samak. Shoots wide on the short side. And it's cleared by Crossman to Prop. To Lemieux. Couldn't scoop it to Gretzky who was open on the right side. Canada, Howard Chuck trying to attack. Now back up, Sema. Moving in on right wing, there's that quick shot of his. You're the save. Copy for Canada to Gretzky. Gretzky trying to stick handle through, couldn't. Samak has it to Lomaka. Mario Lemieux took him out of the play. And it's Crossman for Canada. Now Lemieux clearing it, intercepting it, Casa Tona. To Humalap, now to Nemchina, he's checked. Humalap and Bork by Bork. Bork cleared it to Howard Chuck and Howard Chuck. Into center ice, misses Sutter with it. Soviets come right back. Humalap to Priyakin. There's Fuhr out of the net. Now Murphy without a stick. Just slides it ahead to Gilmore and we'll get a stoppage. Good play under those circumstances. The stoppage when you're playing, especially a defenseman without a stick. Better to pass it to a teammate, get the whistle, and get things back in order. More disasters I see on the ice when a player, be it a defenseman, a forward, or a goaltender, starts playing without a stick. It just seems like everything falls apart. Well, Mario Lemieux fighting off one hand. Now look at this little move. And he just got grabbed from behind, and then he grabbed in return. Never seen an international game with so much holding. But referee Paul Cat uh, Campbell is just going to let them play here. He's not going to call any penalties. As long as they keep things to Paul Stewart, rather. Here's Messier trying to break down left wing. He's checked. Soviets flip it in, racing in. Humalap trying to get it back of the net now. A loose puck back there. The Soviets, Makarov trying to get it. Here's Trutov. Tied up by Bork. Look at that battle. It's out in front. A backhander and pure. A save on Trutov, who just about ended this game in this series. Well, that's why Trutov's the best player in Europe. You saw a perfect example of just how much he wants the puck and how much he wants to score. Great battle. Here's a great view of it, too, as he comes out from behind the net and got a good backhand away, and that was after a long 
battle along the boards with Raymond Bork. He managed to get away from Bork and get out in front. We've now had a total of 100 shots in this game at both goaltenders. And it's tied at five. We have played five minutes, 32 seconds of sudden death in the second overtime period. So we played 25, 32 of overtime. Larry on up against Messier deep in the Team Canada zone. Buck is flipped up by Gartner. Here's Gartner trying to barge by Patisop, get some help from Anderson. But Patisop held his ground, broke it up. Rossman shoots it in. Messier in. Tassatonov cleared it. Here's Anderson shooting. Bellow shaking the save. Patisop losing it. Gartner behind the net to Messier. Out in front. Gartner shoots. Off the skate of Bellow Shaken. And then off the post. Here's Poppy a drive. Marker in front. Couldn't get it over top of the fallen goaltender. Soviets come back. Karuta. Messier ties him up. Back on Canada. To Gartner on right wing. Breaks in. Shoots. And Bellow Shaken came out and made the save on that. Asatona trying to clear it. Trump held it in. To Gretzky. Gretzky behind the net. Bellow Shaken poked in the crease and then cleared away by Makara. Bellow Shaken had no idea where it was. Now Gretzky upending Makara. And Patrick comes up with the puck. Knocked away from him. Rochefort has to go back. Demietsky around. It comes to Prop. Now to Lemieux. Lemieux. Trying to go around Gusara. Lemieux backhander. Glove save. Bellow shaken on Mario Lemieux. The catalyst in all of that was Mike Gartner. The best sequence for Team Canada in the overtime. About three times they nearly they scored. Nearly scored. And Lemieux is a deceptive skater. Look at the way he got the jump on Gusara. And got that defenseman going out around him and got a good backhand away. What a sequence involving Gartner around that net. And listen to this crowd in Hamilton. Face off won by the Soviets. Gusara trying to work it out. Oh, it prop just about knocked it down, but it got through his glove. Rochefort back to get it. Into center ice to Lemieux. Out of prop. Drops it to Rochefort. He flipped it ahead to Prop, who hit the linesman as he tried to clear it in. Omatov couldn't get anywhere, and here's Gusarov firing it in for the Soviets. Fewer out of the net. Shoots it up on the boards, held in by Stelnov. Shot, that's blocked at the defense. Patrick now battling with Lomakin for the puck, and Patrick just fell on it, and we get a stoppage. Patrick, relatively fresh legs in this game. He hasn't played a lot because he was designated as a forward for this game which means out of position, but now they're starting to use him on defense a lot. And, well, you take your fresh legs wherever you can get it. Well, we played a period and seven minutes and 22 seconds of overtime since that goal that was scored with a minute four seconds remaining by Kaminsky, remaining in regulation time. Zaymak getting ready for a face-off against Brent Sutter. Deep in Team Canada's end of the ring. They played 7-22 of the second overtime period. Zaymak and Sutter. Sutter wins the draw and Canada able to clear the zone. The dough top to Semyonov. He backhands it in. Murphy back for Canada. Around to Bork. Out to Sutter. And he just deflected it into center ice. Soviets come right back. Same act stick handling in. Bork breaks it up trying to clear it. It's Sutter with it. Canada can't get it out of there. Bork broke it up. Now Same act closing in. Centered. And Sutter blocked that from Semyonov. Buck back of the goal. Sutter trying to get it free. And Canada with Murphy finally lob it high to center ice. Semyonov for the Soviets. Lead pass. Lomakin in the clear. Shoots pure. Big save on Lomakin who was in alone. And then Canada.
to clear up the center. Asatona to Nemchina. Muir comes out of the net. Feeds it up on right wing to Gardner. Now back to get it. Batisov flips it in and Crossman goes back. Crossman off the boards to Messier. He couldn't get it out, but Gartner did chop it into center ice. Now then Chinov banged into the boards by Anderson. You're setting it up for Crossman. Crossman to Mark Messier, leaving it for Gartner. Gartner gets checked at center ice. And here is Lariana. Stick handling, drops it to Fatisov. This pass over on right wing, and Larionov just scoops it in. They played nine minutes of the second overtime period. Crossman for Canada. Pass misses Prop. Kasatonov back to get it to Karuta. Here's Makara. Makara off to Kasatonov. Moving in. Through the defense. Pulled down and Pure able to grab the puck. And hold on. If this was the first period, there might be a penalty there, Ron. There might be. There will be no penalties. As it's taught off with a great rush. I think he's the better rusher of the two, uh, Fatisov and Kazatonov, but he just got grabbed from behind by Crossman, pulled off the puck. And as it changed speed on Fuhr, it made it a bit of a tester for him. He's ready, waiting for a shot. All of a sudden, he had to reach for it. And there's Kazatonov. The guy with a lot of experience. Drafted by the New Jersey Devils, as was Fatisov. Here's Lemieux against Beckoff. Canada get it. Prop failed to clear it. Back into the corner for Lemieux. Around in the boards to Gretzky. Gretzky does get it out of there. Prop to center ice leaves for Lemieux. Here's Big Mario, but Kaminsky was there to check in. Murphy over to Bork. Bork with a long shot. And Bello Shaken stopped that. Kaminsky, who tied this game up, comes to center. Tries to flip it in and does. Bork going back for Canada. Here's Ramo Bork. Bork into Gretzky. Gretzky cutting in. Centers to Lemieux. Shot it wide. Drop behind the net. Out to Murphy. Murphy to Gretzky. Hit the post. Rebound. They score! Mario Lemieux! Canada wins. The series is tied. Thank you.